We had the name before the Portuguese came. And that's how we call Almina and Lomansa. It's a local name. It's a local name. Iluma on south. You drink the water, the water will feed it. There's a river here. So when they came here, they lived along the coast. And the tents, when the trade was flourishing, they needed a place to turn the trade and their missionaries. So they went to the dance people and the Mansa called Mina and San and negotiated for this portion of the land. Initially, the chief refused to give them the land. He told them that the sea and the land are friends. The sea comes here and goes back. But later, they were considered this place would be able to have free. So they built the castle in 1482. In the 16th century, the Portuguese converted the trade into slavery. They lived here for 155 years. Whoa. 1627, they were captured by the Dutch. The Dutch came here to continue with the slave trade. And they were in the house for 235 years. Wow. 1872, the Dutch sold the castle to the British and left. When the British came here, slavery was abolished in their parliament in 1807. So they used the castle as a sub administrative center. And they trained young African men here as soldiers to fight for them in Burma huh? and the India during the second. Well, what we call the Royal West African Frontier Force. So British were here for 85 years. In the 1957, Ghanaians took over. We had independence. We are here for 62 years. So this castle is 537 years old. Wow. It's the biggest and oldest edifice in Sub-Saharan Africa in connection with the slave trade. Now they brought the slaves from the hinterland. They came from Nigeria, mm. Benin, Togo, Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, and then northern part of Ghana. At that time, no vehicles. So they trek crossing rivers for two months before they came here. Here they spent 10 to 12 weeks waiting for the ship. The ships were not having machines. They used sail. Wind power sent to them some time to come. Now, there were four main sources of getting the slaves acquisition, and it progressed in stages. Initially, Europeans were capturing the Africans by force at their point. It was very, very dangerous to capture them or to fight back. So they stopped and they engaged the Africans, and there came the slave raiders. They were Africans, strong men, trained by the Europeans with guns. They were going around. They would come to your house one day, burn the house first, capture you, your wife and the children brought you. Mm. Africans were doing that. Mm. Now, there were a series of tribal wars among the Africans. Africans were cutting over lands and rivers just to expand their territories. So, anytime there was a war between two groups, we were defeated. Some of the members in the community were captured and sold into slavery, prisoners of war. And the last one, our own local chiefs, also sold some people in their communities. Now, the whole slave trade started when America was discovered. From 1892, they opened plantations, no machines, and they used the native Indians to work. And they were dying out of diseases. Diseases that Europeans sent to the land. And they tried European endangered servants. They were also dying out of the harsh working conditions. So there was a priest, a Roman Catholic priest called Bartolomeo de las Casas. He was a Spanish. He suggested that they should try some of the Africans who were excellent and hard working and compare in a similar climatic conditions who work harder. So 1501, some Africans were taken from Portugal to Americas and they tried them and they proved physically from this man that began the slave trade. Mm. It means that Africans 
were already working in Europe as domestic servants, not slaves. It was 20 years later before they started taking people from the West Coast. And the first slave market in Europe was in Portugal. At the time they called Lagos, people call it Lagos. It was opened in 1444 for the sale of the Africans. They call it Mercado de Esclavos. Now, before the Europeans came, we also had some form of slavery here in Africa. And we call it indentured servitude, or palm for the debt. Those days in Africa, if you owe somebody, you don't have the means to pay. You can send your children to the person to work as slaves for a period of time. After paying the children will return, they will marry, they will own property, they were fed regularly, they were not chained, they live in the same roof with the masters. But if you compare it to what happened here, it was not different for Here, when they capture you, you are in chains, locked in the dungeons, you belong to somebody. Sometimes people challenge that we have slavery for the Europeans, they are not the same. Originally, Africans were not slaves. We were free people. Our history did not start with slavery. Our conquests, royalties, resources, and exploration. That is a background. If you have any question, I am ready. My name is Kofi Roberts. Now, the women were here. Female dangers. 400 women. Yeah. Total number. 400. The men were sisters, they were not together, they separated them. So initially, the rules is seen that down from the castle, we used to store robes where they kept their trade goods. When the Portuguese started slavery, they turned them as dungeons. You can see the hinges there.